It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and today we're here for episode number four of our Clash Royale Let's Play series. So right now, I'm still level two, but I have four, well, five chests if you include my free chests. And we have a lot of stuff going on right now, so I thought, let's go ahead and just open all these chests. We have three silver, one gold, and then we have our free kind of just normal chest. So let's go ahead and open the free one because that's the least exciting one. So we got some gold archers sweet so we're almost at level three we can almost upgrade again got a card for our, our goblins and then also the spear goblins so pretty solid i'm not going to complain with that now we're getting a little bit more exciting here we have our three silver chests and then the one gold chest so i'm excited to see what's in here so first with the very first silver chest <laughs> we have the gold got some arrow cards all right we got a knight card getting closer to level four for that one and we got another card for our spear Spear goblins. Now I'm really liking these guys. Um, they don't cost a lot of elixir. They're very similar to their normal goblin counterparts. However, they just throw like little projectiles, little like little spears and everything. But I'm really liking them. They're in my current deck. Let's go ahead and open the next silver chest here. So we got some more gold. Can't complain with the resources. They're really important when it comes to upgrading. And then we also have another spear goblin card. I love it. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we have some arrows. And a goblin hut. So I've never used this before. So we have a new card. Uh, from what I've seen, what I've heard, this I'm pretty sure this is like a little hut I can just kind of drop in the middle of my camp. And it will actually sort of deploy goblins as we go. But we'll figure it out. We'll throw it in the deck and play around with it and learn some more. We got another chest here. We got some gold again. Can't complain with the gold. We got an arrow card as well. Bomber. And a knight. Pretty solid there. Let's go ahead and open the gold chest. Wait, do I have another free chest? Let's open that really quick. <laughs> so we have some gold, knight, and then we also have a bomber. So doing pretty solid here. Oh no, the Weezy. All right, and then we got another giant card. Sweet, I love the giants. Great tank units. Here we go, the big shebang. So we got some gold. That's a ton of gold, sweet. Uh, another spear goblin. And then we have some archers. So we actually get to upgrade our archers, which is a really good thing. And then goblins. Ooh, we have five of those. Okay, all right. And then a mini P.E.K.K.A. That's pretty sweet. So that's going to be upgraded to level one. And that's our that's our new picks and everything. So here we go. Here is our current deck, and we now have the mini P.E.K.K.A., the goblin hut, as well as our musket here is just chilling, and then an archer as well. But let me go ahead and see what I want to swap out here. So I definitely want to try out this goblin hut. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out the goblins for the goblin hut. Let's go ahead and use that and swap that in for the goblins. And I'd like to try out the mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. Let's go and see if we can get some info on that first. So the arena is a certified butterfly free zone. No distractions for P.E.K.K.A. only destruction. All right. Uh, let's see. Hit points 600 compared to the giant here. Hit points a lot more. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my mini P.E.K.K.A. in for my knight. I feel like that's a similar trade-off. But we'll try that out for one round and then kind of see how it plays out. Wait, can I upgrade anything in here? Let's upgrade our bomber here. Sweet. I'll take that upgrade. And then also my spear goblins, my latest and greatest favorite. So I think it's time to go into the arena here. So let's go ahead and battle. Let's see if we can find an opponent here. So we're going to be going against X Relents. Let me go ahead and say good game. The dog's going off. Okay, so good luck being a good sport here. Let's go ahead and throw in a giant and then a mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm very interested to see what these guys do. So mini P.E.K.K.A.'s going in. He is just, look at that man. He's like a little, he's a beast. Oh, mini P.E.K.K.A. versus mini P.E.K.K.A. This is going to be hype. I'm going to throw in a bomber as well. And then I'm going to see how they do. He's just going to work on my giant. My giant is taking a ton of hits here, but my bombers took out the mini P.E.K.K.A. We've got a Valkyrie as well. Let me see what happens with the Goblin Hut. I have no idea what this Goblin Hut's going to do, but I'm going to put it way back here. He's going to just deploy Goblins, it looks like. I'm going to throw in a Goblin. The Valkyrie just took them out. Easy peasy. Okay, he's getting just going to work over here. I don't even know what I'm doing, because I'm just too interested in seeing what this Goblin Hut and the mini P.E.K.K.A. do. But... If we can take out this Valkyrie really quick, and then we can get rid of these archers, we should be fine, and we can work on getting this first hut. So I'm going to wait just a second here. Looks like we have a Prince. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my trusty Prince-Giant combo, because I feel like that's just the safest bet here. But we want to try and get one tower. We're doing all right. Looks like they have a Goblin thing as well. 
a goblin hut. Okay, let's go ahead and start the giant off because he's going to start taking some damage for me. And then in goes my prince right behind him. And hopefully we can take down this first tower and that will kind of get us back in the running here. Looks like he just deployed a mini dragon. But we should be able to handle that fairly well. My goblin hut did just go down. I'm going to throw in some spear goblins here to help kind of counteract these guys and hopefully take down their goblin hut while we're out of there so we're going straight for the main tower here it looks like we're getting a pretty solid amount of hits on it kickstarter sliding in with the notifications goal right now is going to be definitely to take down this mini dragon as well i'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and drop the goblin hut and drop down i'm going to save the arrows for a minute we're going to go and drop a fireball i just wasted a fireball Ah, <laughs> okay. See if we can take down this giant. I'm gonna sit. I don't know why I keep wanting to throw down those arrows. Mini Pekka gonna help and support our people back here. Throw in some arrows to help start taking down people, as well as some spear goblins because we need to get rid of this Valkyrie and Mini Pekka to help defend our home base here. So we have a giant to go ahead and start sending it this way. So I'm gonna wait just a second here. Throw in the giant. Throw in the prince right behind. And we're going to go ahead and start defending the everything about this base. Because, ooh, we're taking a lot of hits. We're taking a lot of hits. Throwing in some... I just keep wasting arrows. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, spear goblins go in there. We're making a power play, boys. All right, fireballs going in. And we're getting some pretty solid hits here. We are just seven away, and then we got the win. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to lose that one. Let's go ahead and say well played. Um, be a good sport. But that was really close. Okay, so we got a golden chest. We'll go ahead and start that, like, unlocking and everything. I will review the game later. But let's go ahead and start unlocking that. Eight hours is a long time, but we can handle it. And let's go ahead and just get another battle in really quick. Let's go ahead and check the deck. So, pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with what I have right now. We'll kind of change accordingly later, maybe the next video. But right now, I'm pretty happy with this. Things got a little sticky in there for a while. All right, Goblin Stadium, Arena 1. Jaume? I don't know. Let's go ahead and throw up a good luck because being a good sport is the key to any game. Um, looking, ugh, connection's not looking too hot. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down my trusty giant with a mini P.E.K.K.A. because I'm just big in the mini P.E.K.K.A.s. They're cute because they're not like, look at me, he's just like kind of, kind of waddling a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a prince as well because these princes are like, a1 they're insane they're really good they deal a ton of damage and they're quick so they're really just cute, great power players look at that we already got the first one down let's throw in some arrows for support and hopefully take down those uh maybe take down some of those archers just barely missed but we have some spear goblins coming in to help support the prince maybe we can take down this mini pekka while we're at it possibly maybe not but we're doing pretty solid so far let's throw in a bomber in the back help take down some of those spear goblins for me as well as the mini pekka looks like they have a knight coming in as well the bomber, along with this tower, should be able to handle these guys fairly easily. I'm going to go ahead and start saving up my elixir a little bit more. And then we can go make a power play for the king and their main sort of tower. So they're sending in a giant. Shouldn't be. I'm really honestly not too that worried about it. Let me go ahead and send in a goblin hut and a giant in the back here. And then in a second, I'm going to save up and get the prince. And then we'll start making our way to the main base. So they're actually sending in some spear goblins and pekkas. The giant's actually just distracting them, which is okay with me. We're going to go ahead and send in some arrows. Try to take down those spear goblins really quick. Work on taking down this giant. And then they did get the one crown. But I'm okay with that. I'm not too worried. We should be able to handle these archers fairly easily. And we have a solid group of these little guys going in really quick here. So if we throw in a bomber, should be able to handle this knight pretty easily i'm not too worried got another spear goblin with the hut going in as well and then i'm gonna save up and i'm gonna go in with the prince pekka combo and then we'll just kind of roll from there all right i'm gonna go ahead and send in my uh, i'm gonna save it all right here we go pekka prince we're making a power play here see if we can take down some stuff i'm gonna go ahead and send in a fireball as well see if we can start getting some damage there and should be fairly good i'm feeling pretty good about it they're sending in a witch i really don't know what to expect from that but i'm going to send in some arrows just to get some extra support just in case and arrows took down solid amount of damage but they're making a power play too let me go ahead and throw in all right let's go ahead and throw in a bomber and the giant the giant's going to take some damage for me throw in a fireball to kind of take down a lot of these guys really quick for me and then throw in some spear goblins to get some extra support in there arrows I'm gonna save those throw in a prince 
just to help deal a ton of extra damage for me. Hopefully we can go into overtime really quick because that would be the most ideal situation here. Throw in a mini P.E.K.K.A. as well, but uh, this is really close. Okay, mini P.E.K.K.A. is going in. Took, we took down that witch. We have a bunch of spear goblins right now, but we should be okay if we can deal enough damage here. I'm going to throw in a fireball to take down that mini P.E.K.K.A. just almost. We have 384 here. We should, if we can take down this giant really quick, I'm going to save up as much as possible. And we're going to make a crit. Mm, the fireball. Okay. That was a good game. Let's see if I can. Good game. That was a good game. All right. Not going to lie, guys. After playing this, the goblin hut is not my favorite. I think it kind of, we could definitely have a better card deck. I'm going to go ahead and trade in. I like having the goblins in there. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade them upgrade them to level three so we're gonna get a bunch some more hit points damage and damage per second some dps so we're doing pretty well there i'm gonna go and swap that in for the hut and we're level three so our king tower arena towers are both getting little boosts there and we should be able to join a clan now so if we check out the clans here hey we'll join one in the next episode but guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this next let's play in our clash royale series thank you guys so much for watching and as always See you in the next video.